Check swing, goes around. Much to the chagrin of the Bengal fans, 0-1 on Joe Williams. Win will set and now fire. A little bit high. And Cox tried to pick a fake a pickoff throw. Ball slipped out of his hand as you saw and then just rolled back toward the pitcher's mound. Swing and a miss. One and two. Denson from second, Burt from first. And Wynn from the letters. Upstairs. Fuquay struck for a run in the first, threatening here in the second. Two on, one out. But Wynn looking for a strikeout or a ground ball right at one of his infielders. The 2-2, two -two. strike three. Second strikeout for Austin Wynn today. And now the top of the order in Garrett Suggs. Who singled and scored the only run of the ball game thus far. Suggs will chop one towards second base, played nicely by Miller, and holding the bag is yet, no! It put him off the bag! And everybody's safe. A late call by Kenny Dickerson over at first, and John Tuscan immediately out of the third base dugout to protest the call. Boy, it looked from here like Miller held, or by, by yet held the bag. But it's going to be bases loaded for Fuquay with two outs after the error. And now Dickerson will get together with Todd Brewer, the home plate umpire, to discuss and make sure they get the call right. Still discussing. We're going to wait and see what the umpires rule. And they're going to say he's safe. And Tuscan, very disheartened, but he maybe a little bit upset, goes back to the dugout. Base is loaded as Suggs the boot on the air. And now Lucas Scott, who doubled his last time, a chance to give the Bengals some insurance here in the second. The left-hander digs in. Runners from all three bases. And the pitch. Down the right side and through. In the score, Denson. Burt being laid around as the ball is overrun in right field. This is gonna clear the bases as Scott heads for third, and he's gonna be held there. Four nothing Bengals. It'll be an RBI single for Lucas Scott. And then an error on the right fielder. <laughs> allowing all three runs to score and Scott to reach third. So just one RBI for Lucas Scott. Runner at third now for DJ Burt. And ball one. 
A couple of costly errors against the Sabres here in the second have given Fuquay a 4-0 lead. Bounces in again. <laughs> Scott away from third. Win comes set. And foul to the net by Burke. Quality crowd here at Five County again for this third and decisive game. Hanging on every pitch. 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two two. The 2-2 two, two is in the dirt, and the count runs full. And some activity in the... South Mecklenburg bullpen. It looks like Charlie Johnson will get up and start tossing the left-hander. 3-2 pitch. It swung on and hit foul off to the right and onto the roof. It'll roll back down and get stuck in a gutter. That's another definition of a gutter ball. Wrong sport, okay, but you get the point. Scott, 90 feet away. Another payoff pitch on DJ Burt. Dribbled foul. Another payoff. Line drive, right field. Wren inning over. But the damage was done as a couple of costly errors demise South Mecklenburg here in the second inning. Fuquay strikes for three runs and takes a 4-0 lead to the last of the second. Whether you're on the market for a new car, whether you search by vehicle, make, type, or price, the fastest way to access 25,000 cars, trucks, and classics all in one place is HendrickCars.com. New and pre-owned vehicles available coast-to-coast -coast with door-to-door -door delivery and quick and easy financing, complete with actual vehicle photos and free car packs reports. No one makes buying a car easier than HendrickCars.com. Proud supporter of high school athletics across North Carolina. HendrickCars.com, the fastest way to find the car you've dreamed of. Bottom of the second, 4 0 Fuquay Arena, and Earl Oliver, the DH, will lead things off for South Mecklenburg. It'll be Oliver, Bazin, and Warren here in the second against Brett Daniels, who labored a bit in that opening frame but didn't yield any runs. A couple of two out singles did no harm against the Fuquay Jr., who opens up the second inning and fires a little bit low. Quick worker, the right-hander, home on 1-0. And it's fouled off the body of Oliver. <laughs> one 1-1. One. Hit him. The leadoff man aboard. Oliver appears to be okay. Hit him right on the back. And now Max Bays in the left fielder will bat. Pitch on Bazin is swung on, and Sky to center field. Suggs coasting over, makes the running catch. One down ahead of McKay Warren, the right fielder. The right fielder, McKay ran.
Wren digging in from the right side. And Daniels to the plate. Misses the outside corner, maybe just a touch low. Daniels kicks and fires. Swinging a foul ball off to the left. Landing some empty seats down the left field line. Nice work by our camera folks getting the foul ball there into the empty seating down the left field line as it found a home. Ball on a strike now on the South Mecklenburg right fielder. And a 1-1. It's a breaking ball that stays up. Oliver a modest lead at first and the 2-1 is line to right. Will it stay fair? Yes, it'll land just in front of Stewart. Chugging for a third is Oliver. He'll make it without a throw. Runners at first and third with one man out for South Mecklenburg here in the second. So trouble afoot here on the third Sabres hit of the afternoon and now the number nine hitter, Alex Wilson. The center fielder, Alex Wilson. Opening pitch on Wilson is fouled off. Two men on. Should get a look at Earl Oliver at third base. There's one man out. And the 0-1 pitch showing bunt is Wilson and taking for a ball. You recall Wilson was the man who laid down the suicide squeeze play with two outs and two strikes in the bottom of the seventh inning in game two to win the series, or win game two of the series and force this decisive third game. Have a momentary delay as the ball escapes the South Mecklenburg bullpen down the left field line. Miss it in at third, middle back at double play depth as Jarborough holds the runner at first. And Daniels fakes to third and throws to first, not in time. The 1-1. One -one. Runner goes from second to throw down, is not in time. And in to score is Earl Oliver to make it a 4-1 ball game. The double steal works to perfection as Wren swipes second. Oliver does the same with home, and South Mecklenburg on the board. And now a base hit by Wilson makes this a two-run ball game as it's fouled off to the right. Two, two. It's a foul ball going toward the on deck circle on the third base side. Brooks Kennedy waiting to hit next. It's the top of the order for South Mac. The 2 2. Just getting a piece of it as Wilson to stay alive. Two, two. Ball three. <laughs> Ran away from second in the bottom part of your screen. Increases the lead and the payoff pitch is lined to right. It'll fall for a hit. To third and holding is Ren. Runners remain at the corners. Still only one man out in the inning, and a top of the order due up for South Mecklenburg. Brooks Kennedy. And now Brooks Kennedy, who's 0 for 1, he struck out his first time.
And Wilson, who runs pretty well at first, you wonder if maybe the Sabres put on another steal of second base. Maybe a bunt attempt here by Kennedy, who hits from the left side, so you know he runs very well. Shows bunt and pushes it back to the pitcher. Daniels fields, looks towards second, looks toward third, and throws late to first. Base is loaded. Small ball working to perfection for the Sabres here in the second. Base is loaded. And Michael Smith represents, believe it or not, the go-ahead run here in the second. I know it's early, but it's a three-run ball game. And down and away for ball one. The 1-0 to the right side and through. This will score one. Rounding second, Wilson being waved home to throw. See, safe. A two run single for Michael Smith puts South Mecklenburg right back in the thick of things. Smith single to right, took second base on the throw. The and now Tom the Hayes, the Fuqua Arena pitching coach, out to settle down the ace of the staff. And boy, tip your cap there to Brooks Kennedy on that base running play, going from first base. Made sure he avoided being hit by the baseball in order to motor around to third base. Now meeting in the center of the diamond, Hayes will meet with the majority of the infielders. And we mentioned in the second game of this championship that he pitched at NC State and won three ACC titles. So he's also in the North Carolina High School Association state and record books. He was the first pitcher, Hayes was, in North Carolina high school history to have 200 strikeouts in a season. So a pretty good pitcher in his own right. Does not teach at Fuqua Arena, and is just here because he loves baseball and loves helping these kids learn. But his pitching staff in a bind now as South Mecklenburg as the tying run at third, go ahead run at second. Three runs already home here in the last of the second. And now Logan Koch, the switch hitting catcher, hitting from the left side. Daniels opening pitch, high for ball one. Breaking ball for a strike. Brooks Kennedy at second, Michael Smith. Brooks Kennedy at third, check that Michael Smith at second with that two run single and the one one. Swung on and line foul off to the right. And already some bullpen activity beginning for the Bengals. We'll get you a shot of that in just a moment. Perry Gray, you see, loosening in the Bengal pen. The one, two, up and in. Two-two, popped up. Down the left field line, Kennedy will tag from third, catch made by Tudor. The catch, the tag, and we're tied. A sacrifice fly for Logan Koch to left field. His first RBI of this championship, and we're four up here in the bottom of the second. And now Harris yet the first baseman. Upstairs.
Little looper, center field. Suggs got a late break, but he'll make a gliding catch and in the bottom half of the second inning. But South Mecklenburg answers right back with a four spot in the bottom of the second. We head to the third, a brand new ball game, tied at four on Time Warner Cable Sports. I am so excited to be here at Charlotte Motor Speedway and Z-Max Dragway. There is truly no place like this in the world, and the excitement is everywhere. These are the most amazing racing facilities in America, where over 200,000 of the finest fans come together to cheer on the best race car drivers in the world. You're absolutely going to flip when you see this amazing mecca of motorsports. So call 1-800-455-FANS for tickets and grab your cooler, grab your family and your friends, and let's go racing. Third inning begins at Five County Stadium in this winner take all 4A state championship game three. Tied at four, Brett Daniels leads things off, followed by Nick Yarborough. And the opening pitch on Daniels inside. My big second inning for both of these ball clubs as Fuquay struck for three in the top half of the frame. And then South Mech answered right back with a four spot in the bottom of the second. The 1 0 to Daniels is fouled all over the roof toward us and out of play. Ball and a strike on Brett Daniels. And fouled off again. Daniels, just to record an official at bat here in this third game, had a sacrifice fly to drive home the Fuquay run in the first. And the one, two, is chopped back up the middle and into center field. <laughs> Lead off man aboard for the third straight frame. And now Nick Yarborough, the first baseman. The first baseman, Nick Yarborough. And a courtesy runner at first base for the pitcher as Andrew Smith will come on to run for Daniels. Courtesy runner at first base number 16, Andrew Smith. Ground ball off the pitcher into center field. First and second, nobody out. And now let's check and make sure that win is okay. I think the ball hit off of his leg, at least it looked like it did. He says he's okay. Todd Brewer, the home plate umpire, out just to make sure. Wants to give him a new baseball. And now the infielders come in to right check on their right hand. He says, yeah, guys, I'm okay. Go back to your position. Let's turn two. And now the right fielder, Tyler Denson. But first, a couple of warm-up tosses just to make sure that win is okay. You remember, Denson came on as the courtesy runner in the second inning and just stayed in the game to play right field. Opening pitch to Denson with two men on and nobody out. And a fake throw to second base and close to a balk there was win. But not much of a protest from Fuquay as Koch will go through some defensive signals. Denson in from the left side. Win from the letters. Checks the man at second and bunted foul. Well, after a pretty tight ball game in the opening, or game two of this three game series, a two to one win for South Mecklenburg, the offensive fireworks seem to have just started. Eight combined runs through the first two innings. 